Oh, uh, no, we already have an Amish. That's odd. Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. What? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Alright, so I just, uh... I just sent you something, and, uh, if you want, we can have this be a bit of a, a talking point for the, uh, for the background here. I'm waiting for something to appear. You sent it to the right person? <laughs> Could you imagine if he didn't? If it's, like, uh, something really fucked up, too. Uh, just, like, send it to his, like, grandmother or it's something. Not. It's not. It's completely wholesome, but, no, yeah, I sent it to oh, you. Oh, it's a Venonat. Oh, you might... Hey, oh, there you, there you go. go. Hey. It's a Venonat. Oh, it's a Venonat. Let's see. Will I just catch it in one ball and be good to go? Probably not. Nope. This is, like, one of those... <laughs> Those Facebook memes that are like, pick your favorite uh, last M Airbender character, and the rest are gonna try to kill you. Oh, How good yeah. are you gonna be? <laughs> right, 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 those things. That's what you just sent me. Yeah, Pretty you, much. You gonna, you gonna <laughs> so, copy paste some chain mail uh, too? Yeah, more or less. Yeah, I was listening to a, a podcast and they were talking about this. <laughs> I mean, I can if you'd like. What? I, it's it's a I list. So you want to joke? explain to everybody what it is? You want to you want to read it out? You want to see what's going on? It's a list of uh, cartoons ranging from oh, yeah. Avatar, yes. Odd Parents, Rocket Power, and their assigned values. On Nickelodeon cartoons. Dollar values. Dollar values. Yeah. And you have twenty dollars to buy your cartoons. Yeah. So it's a grid, and it says build your dream Saturday morning cartoon lineup. You have twenty dollars, and then yeah, you've got these tiers. So. Yeah, like five dollars. You got Avatar, uh, Fairly Odd Parents, Rocket Power, and Hey Arnold. For four dollars, you got Rugrats, uh, Angry Beavers, SpongeBob, and Jimmy Neutron. Three dollars is Our Real Monsters, Cat Dog, uh, as told by Ginger, and My Life as a Teenage Robot. Two dollars gets you El Tigre, which I don't know what that is. Uh, Danny Phantom, Invader Zim, and the Wild Thornberries, and then one dollar gets you Raku's Modern Life, which is a fucking insult that is worth yeah, more than a dollar. Yeah, fuck you first off. Criminally, um, criminally undervalued at one dollar. The, the X's, which I don't know either. Chalk Zone, which was good for a little while, but like, uh, and then Doug. There's something about the person who made this that puts Avatar The Last Airbender as five dollars and Raku's as, as one. I think it says enough about this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, and then also, like, Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, good, good point on Kamikaze's behalf. Uh, I saw that shit. Most of those weren't on Saturday morning. Burned me up, he says. So, uh, the answer to this puzzle that you sent me is... <laughs> uh, I took... I, I'll take the $20 and uh, buy the Spice Channel. Alright. Uh, okay. All right. what, do, what do we name I mean, Venom at? <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta do a name. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let's see, you already got cervix, you already got frothing gas. Trash bug. Uh, I guess, I mean, if it, when it evolves, bug. it stays as a trash bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a garbage Pokemon. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, what about, I mean, garbage is fine. Garbage? My favorite band from the early 2000s. I was trying yeah, to think really of like other names. I was going with uh he's only going to be happy when it rains. Oh. Is that garbage? That's the only garbage song that exists. Okay, I wasn't sure. I mean, it's I a good trying. song, but I, it's... <laughs> the only one I know by garbage is the one that's like uh Cherry Lips. I think it's called like Cherry Lips or something. It was on that PS2 game Amplitude. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, please. I think you're just digging a deeper grave. I know, <laughs> like, it's so fucking obscure. Please, someone, Nobody please. knows, nobody knows what I'm talking about. Amplitude on PS2 was my shit, and I used to play it online all the time. It was like the first game that I actually played online. Anyway. <laughs> Can we just move on from this? You might be thinking of the song Cherry Pop by Warrant. No, 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 Cherry Lips. Mm, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It was like, um... Yeah, anyway, this list yeah. has got some shit that's criminally underrated, man. Yeah. yeah. Rocco yeah. should not be that low. Invaders yeah. and Danny Phantom also shouldn't be that low. It's like, what are you... What yeah, are we comparing the, here? Who made this list? Probably somebody who's, like, too young to have watched, uh... 
the good shows like Rocco's Modern Life and uh, Doug. It's like I mean Doug is alright. I'm not gonna watch Avatar and then watch Angry Beavers. Like yeah. those are two different moods. Yeah. I watched uh, Angry Beavers the other day. Um, Dude, it's still good. It's still holds the up. other day, but it, it was when I still had um Verve. Oh, I I did a subscription thing like a, a trial period for Paramount Plus because there were some South Park episodes that were yeah. on there. Yeah, and yeah. they have all the Nickelodeon shows. That's where so we're watching I, it. I was yeah. watching it on there. Yeah, are we it's watching it on Paramount Plus or is it HBO Max? Paramount Plus. Okay, I keep getting those mixed up, but um, yeah, the <laughs> the new. Did you see the new South Park? Oh, uh, you're talking South Park? Yeah. Because he's talking about the cartoon Nickelodeon. Oh, oh cartoons. no, yeah, because he said he got Paramount Plus because they had some South Park on there. Yeah, South Park's HBO Max. Yeah, okay. they, they had a couple episodes. Well, it's it's HBO Max, but there's a couple episodes specials. that are like one. I think there's two one-hour specials yeah. that are on Paramount uh, Plus at the moment because yep. I think after this season, um, everything's like they're they're doing all that shit on Paramount Plus. Yeah, but it's but like 2024. I think I watched or something the latest like South Park episode, which St. Patrick's it's, special. Yeah, it came out Is it just last night. Yeah? I, it's something stupid, like when they're oh, gonna make the choice. Okay. In that case, I hadn't seen it. Okay. We were watching HBO the last Max. One that was the um, the one with uh, butters and the horse. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, okay. the, I think there's the, been the two episodes. Yeah, there's two more. Yeah, there's, there's, two one. More. yeah, there's one with teenagers and <laughs> okay. one on St. Patrick's Day. Poor Butters. Yeah, dude. He, can't even, he finally gets something he likes like, riding butters. a horse, and the horse won't stop it. <laughs> Just can't win. My favorite character in that whole show. Butters Dude, is my favorite. Butters has always been my favorite, and I, I've never met anybody else who, like, thought of Butters as their favorite character, so I appreciate that. He's always I been my Butters, favorite. Man. Ninja Star in the Eye? I just, I can't believe it's not Butter. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, real quick. I, you can oh, leave. That was fucking gross, dude. Kamikaze says, Amplitude looks like a sci-fi Guitar Hero. It was actually Guitar Hero before Guitar Hero. Same people. Same people who made it. And then um, Amplitude uh, came out on the PS4. Harmonix? The on company? Like, what? Is Guitar Hero. Harmonix. Harmonix. Oh, yeah, I'm saying was, yeah. was it Harmonix? Yes. Was the, yeah. Yeah, Harmonix did Amplitude r before they worked on Guitar Hero. And before Amplitude, it was another game called Frequency. So Amplitude is actually a, a sequel to Frequency. It had, like, a lot of really good fucking music, but they brought it back. Uh, they, like, completely remastered it for the PS4 on the digital marketplace, and they had to um, cut all of the songs and, like, replace them with, like, what sounded like generic... Uh, like club beats, it, it was awful. I didn't like it, and the gameplay wasn't even that good. But um, yeah, the, the original PS2. Well, you gave her a chance <laughs> to talk about amplitude. She's yeah, we, take it, we was always giving history lessons when I saw my dude. I fucking. I told her she gets one <laughs> chance to talk about this game, and then never, ever, ever again. So this is the one chance she gets on stream. I, I love, <laughs> I love learning about gaming history and like. Uh, game facts and secrets and stuff like that. It's like what I live for. So Amplitude's a secret. I'll Don't tell anyone. It's obscure. <laughs> I'll never pass up the chance to like talk to somebody about some nerdy shit when it comes to gaming history. So did you like the game or just the music? It sounds like you just like the music. I liked the game and the music. I I still thought the game was like okay for the PS4, but it was definitely not the same. It was like very different gameplay. Enough about me. How about you guys? Um, when Microsoft bought uh, Activision Blizzard, I remember a lot of people were saying that they were thinking um, it would be cool if we got another Guitar Hero game. Yeah. If they brought that back, because that was Activision. So that'd be um, nice to see. I'd like another Guitar Hero. Back when Microsoft announced uh, Windows Vista, they had a dance party. That was pretty cool. Dude, back when Windows 7 came out, I felt that. Yeah. Bill Gates was dancing. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty cool. Oh yeah, oh he my was. God. <laughs> <laughs> he did. So confused. I was, I was like in the wheelchair. I'm like, ah, oh, that's Stephen Hawking. It's <laughs> 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 very confused for a moment. Yeah, that's like, easy to mix up. They're both smart guys. They're both smart old white guys with glasses. Come on. <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> One of them is dead. Wow, too soon. Bill is Gates it? looks Bill fine. Gates <laughs> God.
damn it, you guys. It was an easy joke. We had to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, it's Roger. <laughs> That's right. Rest in Paul. Rest in Paul. <laughs> 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 I forgot oh, about it too. Oh man. Never forget. Poor guy. Look, I'm running out of PP. Pee -pee. So, Stop can I words. ask you something? And it kind of is like a Fast and Furious thing. <laughs> but it's a problem that like a lot of people have with the Fast and Furious, like at the end. I think it's not enough baby oil on their muscles. Is that what you're gonna ask? <laughs> So it does have to it does have to do with a baby, but no. Oh, what the uh, fuck? I think that was your last shockwave, by the way. Yeah, it is. It's Bring right. it. I'm, I'm planning on um, going back to the um, Pokemon Center. Go back! So in the eighth movie, Ugh. um Paul Paul Walker died after the like when the seventh movie was coming out. So in the eighth movie, they did a really weird thing oh. where um <laughs> So Vin Diesel's that. character, yeah. Vin Diesel's character uh, had a kid. And with Paul Walker? <laughs> no. So he had a kid with a lady who then died, and he's now raising his kid with somebody else, which is which is fine. But it was like really weird the way that they did it. But it either way, <laughs> it was Jane Wesker all <laughs> along. <laughs> Billy W. Now listen, that's what the show is about. All right. <laughs> No, but it's it's weird. So Paul Walker's character in the movie was named Brian O'Connor. And in the the movies, when he has his kid, uh, he named Vin Diesel names his kid Brian. And it's kind of like a whole thing of, oh, they're kind of honoring Paul Walker with like the baby's name and whatnot. But they don't want to name it Paul because that's a little too fourth wall breaking. But in the movies, Brian's not dead like he just kind of left and he was like i can't do this life anymore like i have a family of my own like i just i you know i'm not gonna be in it essentially like he he rides off and does his own thing is that weird to you that like you named your son after your best friend no not I at feel all like that's kind of weird that's always been a thing like you don't have to be dead to be named after like no yeah that's always been like yeah, a I understand that, but it's not like he's like his grandfather or like his dad, but like after your friend, that's just kind of weird. You act like you don't have like a really good friend that you die for. You need to tell me. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you need to tell me. He didn't die for him. Oh, but you need to tell it. me that if I had a kid, you'd be fine if I named, if I named my kid Squishy. You'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because he's a baby. It's got to be Squishy. Ew. It's a little squishy baby. Uh, oh, God. He's going to be a fucking 32 year old squishy trying to get a career off the ground. Well, you know, by that then, make any sense. Well, it's a stage name. By then, it's squish. Yeah, exactly. He's grown up. You have to That's evolve with works. your name. <laughs> He's in the squish phase. Oh. <laughs> Wait until he grows up to be squishy Second feels. evolution. <laughs> No, that's but not way, a weird thing. That's odd that somebody names their child after their best friend who's still alive and hanging out and like with them, you know? Well, uh, well, first off, are they hanging out still, like in the canon? Well, like, that'd be even more awkward if you name yes. them after them and they just don't even hang yeah, out. Yeah, no, that don't. I really don't see any problem with that. Like, you personally, you're probably gonna feel weird because that's you're just a weird fucking guy. <laughs> But that's always been a thing where it's like I had a really good friend in college that like got me through a lot of like tough situations. So I always thought I'd name my and first born after. But you're saying had, as if you don't talk to that person and they're not in your life anymore. This person, even though it's like in the movies, obviously Paul Walker's character is not there because What's Paul the Walker is is dead. But they still say like that they like he's they're they're like together like they always like yeah, they're hanging out okay with shit. that doesn't change anything he's not gonna be weirded at like he's not gonna be like ill you need him to get no he's gonna be like i, f I feel fucking honored dude oh, great <laughs> yeah, I, the the coach, I like, would feel honored but i just like if, if you named your cat, cat after me i guess i'd feel honored but it's like what did you say hold I on said, what i said it's better than like naming a cat after your friend you know if you were like oh i thought you said it's just like naming a cat no, no, like, no, i no, don't no. think so no no no, no. I know it's not. <laughs> like, why is it so weird to you? Yeah. 
Because it's your your friend that you see all the time who like is still alive, you know? It's, I just feel like it's not like a... Like it's not a family name that's getting passed down. It's not like he named his child... <laughs> yeah. like he, he named his child... How often are you uh, passing like, down first really names? Like <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Uh, people do that yeah. all the time. Not, I've, uh, not as much people as... People are named like... Oh, like yeah, Dylan I... Jr., Dylan the Third, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, but I feel like you're more likely to run into someone. Yeah, but I'm saying you're more likely in this day and age to run into someone who's like, oh yeah, I'm named after my dad's friend or like a family friend. I'm named after a family friend rather than my father father. I, I think it's more often you find that people are named after like famous actors. I hear that a lot. Like somebody will be like, oh, they named yeah. me... Uh, I don't know. I was I really wanting to hear the famous person. No, I, I have nothing. You know, <laughs> you know I have know. nothing. I don't. I, <laughs> I never come to these things they prepared. Name me after my dad's best friend, who is also the Fabio you're thinking. Listen, if, <laughs> if somebody names their kid Fabio, you don't have to explain where that one came from. That's true. Old friend. Old, old friend. Also, just because you say you had a friend in college doesn't mean they're dead. Oh, I guess you did say not talk to them. I see what you're saying. No, I caught up. As soon oh, as yeah, I said yeah, it, I'm I, like, oh, yeah. the, the past the tense of, of had means that like they're scary. not there anymore. I would also get rid of curse. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. It's fucking scary. I don't. I don't want to like kill myself by accident using that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like it's yeah. a weird thing. A lot of is that okay. I'm not sure if that's what you meant to say. A lot of Hermione's, uh, yeah, out from that generation. A from Ron our... of Hermione's from our generation. <laughs> yeah, it, it came out a run of Hermione's from out generation, but I think he meant a, a lot of Hermione's from our generation. I got you. A run of Hermione's is a good name. <laughs> it sounds like some fucking ancient Greek shit. That's <laughs> what I'll name my kid. A run of Hermione's? Yeah. Actually, it sounds good if you just say it really fast. It just sounds like one long, like, Roman name. Aron Hermanis. <laughs> what did we just name the fucking Blue Snorlax bee? that I said you gotta say fast? No, uh, that was that was the uh, horsey, right? Relaxabetus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Relaxabetus. Yeah. That's what. <laughs>